You guys improved since the Bridgeport game up until the seventh, sixth inning. Um, can you talk about your guys' game today? Well, you know, uh, if you really think about it, up until the third, uh, third and the third innings, maybe going into the fourth inning, um, Joseph Castellanova threw a great game. Okay, just some mental mistakes by our, our defense and really what took us out of that. And I thought really what caused the downfall from that was just the mental capacity for the players. Right? So with the snowballs, it started. Yeah, yeah, that triple sort of, that, after the triple, I, I saw the wind sort of get knocked out of you guys with uh, Malnick. Mm -hmm. But uh, can you comment on the, the season? about? Well, the season's been, just like I told the players, the season's been up and down. Uh, all year long, you know, sometimes we played extremely well, sometimes we didn't play so well at all. And I think a lot of that has to do with youth in the team, number one, because we only had two seniors. Uh, number two is the mentality, uh, the approach to the game, the approach to hitting, uh, uh, being focused. Uh, I think some games we, we didn't have quite as good a focus as I thought we should in order to participate in the game and compete for the you know, team we were playing. Yeah. Do you uh, can you talk about your plans for next year? Next year, um, yeah, actually I'd like to expand on that. There's been a lot of uh, talk and rumors that I'm not coming back, neither is my assistant, but uh, let's put those rumors to rest and we are coming back for sure. Uh, we wouldn't coach anywhere else, but he's, he's from high school. Um, so let's just, let's just watch that. But uh, you know, next year we have, a, uh, these kids are going to be growing up, they're going to be play, playing summer baseball. Um, we've got a good group of freshmen coming in, so we're still going to be young. We're going to have some juniors that are come up. Uh, and uh, play a lot of role next year's season for sure. Great. Um, is there anything else you like to add? Uh, yeah, I thought that the, you know the performance that uh, Matt Robbins had was uh, was very good. Um, uh, we only got two hits, and uh, we, you know we did a very good job. What was the secret to today's performance? Uh, how did you approach today? Uh, I just basically just threw strikes, tried to keep them off balance. You know, let defense do work. Just happened. That's kind of what, what pitch was working? Definitely my curveball today. Yeah, threw a lot of those. But then, I mean, you had to go to spot and change ups and stuff too. So, was there anything you saw in them that front foot or anything? I mean, they were out in front of a lot of stuff, but I mean, it was mainly just out. I guess out thinking them. How how is this uh, game going to carry under guys' momentum for the rest of the playoffs? Oh, it's definitely a big boost. Um, we've been on a roll lately, but we've got to keep playing, keep hitting the ball. Uh, I saw you even had two hits. Uh, what was going on in your mind? The play you helped yourself out. Got a double. Or got the yeah. first that bat felt good. I'm not gonna lie. Other than that, I was worried about pitching. Hope that other people do the hitting today. That's great. Uh, you got any comments about the playoffs, about John Marshall? I don't really know much about him to say anything about it, so we'll be ready to play is all I can say. All right, great. Uh, what was the pitch? What was your approach? I mean, that, that triple was what knocked the breath out of him. So. Um, the pitch was a, uh, was a high curveball. He uh, threw a lot of curveballs the whole entire game, so I was just sitting on it, waiting for him to throw it. it um, what was going through your mind as you were running the bases? I mean, well, when I ran the second, I didn't know if coach was holding me or letting me go, so I just took off and was sprinting. And uh, he was telling me to stay, but I already had too much momentum, so I just went. Uh, how, how being a senior, does it give you an advantage over the rest of the players playing today with the experience? The experience is this, is this will be my third trip to Charleston. And uh, my freshman year, we uh, lost to John Marshall before we made it to state, so uh, I just tell him how that was the worst experience I've ever had in baseball. And, just try to help them uh, stay focused. That's great. Are you? Uh, how, how are you going? I know you only have one day off before you play them. But you guys have practice tomorrow. Or? Yeah, we have practice tomorrow. How are you going to approach a practice to get you ready to keep this momentum going for Thursday? Same way we've been practicing. I mean, we've been on the roll lately, and uh, everybody's been playing well. We've been hitting the ball from top to bottom, playing great defense, and we're just going to approach each game. Take it one step by step. Great. What are your thoughts on today's game, uh, especially Mountnix and Robbins' performance? Uh, well, you couldn't ask for much better out of either one of them. Uh, you know, uh, most of our uh, pitchers this year, have, have pitching has come from our uh, underclassmen, even though some of our uh, seniors have uh, thrown the ball pretty well, too. But uh, I tell you what, Robbins, uh, he, he's a competitor, and, and Mountnix, just coming back from, a, from an injury, uh, did a great job. I mean, you couldn't ask for much more. How how, uh, how do you use this game for the rest of the playoffs? Well, we just take them one at a time. You know, we we wanted to beat East Fairmont, and uh, now we're just looking ahead for John Marshall. Do you uh, see any difference in this team as your past teams? Any uh, 
Well, uh, I, I, I tell you, it, the difference between uh, this, this year's team that played today and earlier in the season, our kids are uh, more aggressive now. We're, we're hungry. They, uh, you know, we had, we uh, lost four good seniors last year, and someone had to replace them, and the younger kids are, uh, are picking it up pretty good. Great. Um, is there any, you have any comment about John Marshall, who's going to pitch that game or anything? Uh, they'll have to wait until, they, uh, until we put someone out on the mound. All right. Uh, any any additional comments about the season? Well, uh, no, not really. It's it's been a uh, pretty good year, pretty productive. Uh, uh, we're hitting at something like 350 some uh, as a team, and, and uh, we won the Big Ten. Other than that, uh, uh, you know, right now you're one and done if you lose. Yep.